Well, tonight we do want to take you inside the courtroom of a judge erupting from the bench when a woman convicted of killing her boyfriend shows no sign of remorse and mocks distraught family members. She was sentenced to life in prison, but the judge wanted to make sure that's not all she'll be thinking about from behind bars. If a judge could throw the book at a woman, he managed to do so today. Not physically, but certainly by his stinging words. And he had a lot of them for 31-year-old Camille Gamet, the woman convicted of killing her boyfriend Marcel Hill in March. Gamet claimed it was self-defense and showed no remorse today. The yeah, trial, the way I was portrayed, everything, mostly everything was lies. There was a little bit of truth, but mostly I was convicted off of lies. Family members who got a chance to address the court today would beg to differ. I remember the cries of help that he screamed as you plunged that knife in and out of his body. A first-degree murder conviction by law meant Gamut, who stabbed Hill 11 times, would get life behind bars. Still, while family members spoke, she would only roll her eyes and laugh. But Jackson County Circuit Court Judge John McBain would have none of it. And you're going to shut your mouth or I'm going to have some duct tape put on it. No duct tape would be found. A jury convicted Gamut for stabbing and beating Hill to death. Her lawyer argued she killed an unknown attacker in a dark room and started whacking an intruder after she woke up to glass being smashed on her head. The judge wasn't buying that and called it the worst cold-blooded murder he's ever seen. The prosecutor argued Gamut's actions were premeditated and deliberate. We have no choice but to send her where she will also die. I can't believe she stands before you doing this this morning. Gamut had a history of violence against Hill, who told police in March of 2013 she hit him in the head with a hammer. The prosecutor showed the jury a number of weapons she used, including a bloody floor lamp, a frying pan, but the judge narrowed in on the knife. You gutted him like a fish in that apartment, too. You were relentless. You stabbed, you stabbed, you stabbed, you stabbed, you stabbed until he was dead. A brutal act Judge McBain says she'll pay for with life in prison without parole. I understand you have to do what you have to do. I agree with the family. I hope you die in prison as well. You know, if this was a death penalty state, you'd be getting the chair. Family members say justice was served today and they hope a lesson was learned about how abuse can come in all forms, no matter the gender. Now, after hearing all of that, Gamut herself suffered no injuries during that attack.